What's going on guys? Today we are doing a little uh, review on canned meat. Now I've tried some canned meat in the past. I haven't had, I don't really like it too much. Uh, I've had some, some beef uh, and then I think I've done some canned chicken. And uh, but my favorite probably canned meat is probably canned tuna. That's that's about the best protein that I've had. But I've kind of had my eye on this stuff. It's called Banner Sausage. It's canned sausage. I have no idea what it tastes like. Um, it's got a four-year shelf life on it. So uh, you know it would be great for the storage container. Just pop the year on top of that, and uh, you know I probably will uh, put on the top of my cans and stuff the year that it goes out, not the year that I put it in. So that way it's easier to open my food storage container up, look in there and see what's about to expire, what we need to get out of there and rotate in. So, but you know, this is was like a dollar 75 a can. Never seen it before, but just kind of wondering what it's gonna be like, what it tastes like, what the consistency is. Uh, and I'm going to be able to taste it and know if my kids are going to be able to like it or not. And that's the thing about my food storage that I'm really focused on. My, my girls love rice and they love beans. So uh, we're going to have lots of rice and beans. Uh, that's not something that you want to live on from a day-to-day -day basis. Everything is always rice and beans. So... If I can integrate some sausage and things like that into my food storage, that would be really good. So, let's, without further ado, let's get this Banner Sausage open. Now, it's got an easy open lid on it. Let's uh, get you guys down here to the this here. So, let's get it opened up here. Oh, wow. It looks very <laughs> like pig brainish or something. It literally smells like uh, spam. That's exactly what it smells like. Yes, it smells like spam. So, I don't, you know, I love spam and eggs. Uh, I love spam and eggs. So, we'll get this out on the, it's almost like, it's literally, oh wow. It's literally like gel. I was expecting like a hard, like a hard thing there. That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, let's get it on the griddle and see how it fries up. I got a feeling it's not going to taste anything like sausage. So let's get her up on the griddle here. I suppose what I may do is I guess just kind of start, man, you know, I don't know. That's like I said, it's kind of, I was not expecting that look at that so that's uh, like i said that's very spamish that is definitely not like sausage so what we'll do is we'll just get a little gallop of it here and stick it down here very fatty uh Lots of fat in there. Of course, you know, I mean, you would expect fat to be in sausage. This is driving Elvis crazy. Driving him nuts. So we'll let that sit and roll uh, for a couple minutes and see how this is going to taste. Um, you know, geez, you'd almost just be better off getting the Spam. Uh, it smells exactly like Spam. Nothing like sausage. Alright guys, quick update. This stuff is, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to flip that into a patty. It's almost like soup. Uh, you guys can read that right there. It says, heat sausage. Add slightly beaten eggs and continue heating. Stirring occasionally until eggs are set. Season to taste. Uh, now, if you look, the, the, the picture on this is very deceiving. It looks like sausage patties next to a over easy egg so i was expecting like uh almost a loaf like in there and i was just going to slice it up into patties and uh you know like this right here this was as this is what i was expecting i was expecting an actual if i can get it out of here i was expecting this an actual sausage patty 
you know, but just like a loaf. And I was just going to cut it up and stick it down on there. That's what I was expecting. It's almost like, uh, actually, it's almost like trying to fry potted meat. That's exactly what it's like. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. I don't, I don't know how that's going to work out. Only time will tell. All right, guys. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can flip this. Uh, it's very loose. I, I'm very disappointed in it. On the firmness of it. Like, if you guys can see, it's almost like trying to flip an egg or something. It's a good thing it's on this, uh, cast iron. Because, uh, I don't think there'd be any way I would be able to flip this in, like, a stainless steel pan or something. Because it probably would stick really bad. So, let's give her a shot. Ah. Ah, well. Uh, okay then. That is, it looks a little better since it's been fried. <laughs> I'm going to let that roll a little bit. I might go a little darker. I don't like how the middle of it is just, I don't know. I don't know. You guys will see the finished product. <laughs> here we go you can see uh, basically what I did was is tried to stop cooking it like it was a sausage patty so I just kind of like you know you guys seen in there I just kind of like because it has a lot of fat in it uh, I was really surprised at how greasy and fatty it is um, so you know that could be a good thing when you're trying to take in calories and stuff uh, you know in a survival you know situation and uh, you know so let's let's give it a try. I'm gonna get a little piece of this on my fork here. You know, it's not it's not terrible. I, I can taste a little bit of sausaginess to it. Um, I mean, I guess if you like mix it in with your eggs, uh, I think it would be it'd be decent. Yet again, it's not the greatest thing in the world. Uh, your best bet would probably be if you like really wanted a true sausage uh, to go on maybe like, and I haven't tried them, but the freeze-dried route uh, as far as like uh, freeze-dried, uh, uh, like those big containers uh, that's freeze-dried, they last for like 30 years. I've seen a lot of good reviews on those, but this this isn't bad. Um, I mean, if you haven't had anything to eat in a few days and you had that mixed in with your eggs, you would be stoked. So, yeah, it's it's not terrible. I don't think I'd want a healthy diet of it. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not bad, not bad at all. So. But, you know, the consistency of this stuff, yet again, it's almost like potted meat with a lot of fat on it. So, you just got to be prepared for that. The best, like I said, the best way that I've cooked it is stick it on there. Don't cook it like a patty because all that grease comes through the top and it just sits on top of that patty. And this, this is so soupy and loose that... You, you might as well just break it up into little crumbles like that. And, I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. It does have a sausage -y, uh flavor to it. And, it, you know, it says made with pork and chicken right there. So, yeah, guys. Uh, 
could be good for the it could be good for the food storage. And like I said, it has a four year. The, today is the the fourth of January, and it's August sixth of twenty four. So we've got a three year three year shelf life on that. So could be worth it. Uh, like I said, I need to see how the girls like it. If the girls will eat it, I think they will. If it's mixed in with their eggs and stuff, they would eat it. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this 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 kind of helps stuff out. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more food storage stuff in the future. Um, and, yeah, we need to figure out how to long-term store this. I need to find some, uh, some oxygen absorbers and stuff and start getting my five-gallon buckets of rice and five-gallon buckets of beans going. Uh, I'd like to have probably three buckets of beans and three buckets of rice, three buckets of oats, and probably some flour. Uh, if we can get those four staples going, then I'll work on uh, uh, dehydrated potatoes and stuff like that, and keep working on the meats. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hit that like button at the bottom down there. It helps the analytics of YouTube push the channel, and it keeps us motivated into making videos. Uh, Stay tuned for some outdoor adventure stuff. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing this week. We're still working on Elvis and his training on hiking and things like that. So, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Ditch the sofa.